Good morning 2021, it's Chris Murphy with Compass Outdoor Living and we are set on our first pond project of the year. It is January 6th, it's about 20 degrees, so it's much like we did last year. We're out here in the freezing cold getting ready to rebuild the water feature. So you can see behind me we have a, uh, a small pond here. This is about a 4 by 6 it was about 30 inches deep. We're going to tear out this wall that sits in behind him here and we're going to put in a new 8 by 11 ecosystem pond and we're going to do about a six foot stream on this piece um, and create a whole new environment for our customers so stay tuned and watch how we turn this into this So we've been here about an hour or so, and uh, it's cold. It is cold. We do have some sun coming in though, baby, so that's gonna be nice. We've uh, made pretty quick work of tearing out this old pond. So we are now gonna start uh, breaking down the retaining wall back here, get rid of all of that stonework. We are then going to fill in the pond with all of this soil. We're gonna do some compaction, get that basically back to where we like the grade, and then we're going to start painting out our pond and cutting in our shelves. Pretty good progress so far. So that's a wrap for day one. We crushed it today. We got the old pond removed completely, all of that disposed of. We refilled the pond, and as you can see, we got that whole bad boy dug back out. So we got all our boulders in here loaded up, ready to go. Um, in the morning, we're gonna reroute a little bit of irrigation line and get that out of our way and out of our hair. We're gonna put a final set on the skimmer, uh, which is all the mechanical filtration of this pond. And then we're going to set our underlayment, our liner, another layer of underlayment, cheap insurance, and then we're going to start bouldering this pond. So we'll see you back in about two seconds for day two. day three we're hoping the final day here um, like we said yesterday we have the pond uh, about 90% rocked in so we do need to attach the skimmer face plate and then we're gonna start working our way up the uh, up the waterfall so we're gonna shoot some elevation on this and we're hoping to see something in about the 24 inch range which will be pretty dramatic um, fall in this six foot stream so it's gonna be pretty awesome we do have a, another piece of our deconstructed stack plate urn that we're gonna get worked in here 
And like I mentioned, we're going to have some pretty cool ideas on, on how that's going to get integrated. So um, we're going to go ahead and start working on some of the terracing. So we're going to bring our terracing way outside the waterfall here. Um, and that's going to help us start to create that natural looking elevation change as we work up our waterfall. And that's going to give us an idea of, uh, of where to set our biofalls, which is going to be the biological filtration on this. So we're going to set in an Aquascape 1000 biofalls. Um, when we get to that point, we'll show you a little bit more detail. And uh, today, we're hoping to get this thing up and running. It would be a fantastic birthday present for me today. So keep our fingers crossed. Stay tuned.